in recognition of this book's contribution to a better understanding of one of the Ukraine's most consequential modern social movements, the Revolution of Dignity, the Peterson Literary Fund 2021 Translated Book Award goes to Ukrainski Maidan Rosyjska Wina, Chronika ta Analiz Revolucji Hidnosti, Ukraine's Maidan, Russia's War, a chronicle and analysis of the revolution of dignity. Translated from the original English into Ukrainian, Mikhailo Vinnitsky, author, Roman Klochko, translator, Vydavnictvo Staroholeva, Old Lion Publishers. In this book, the Canadian scholar, Mikhailo Vinnitsky, interprets the fate of the Ukrainian revolution of dignity as a turning point not only in the modern history of Ukraine, but in fact, in the history of Western civilization. It is a very positive development that this book is now available in Ukrainian. The author, Mikhailo Vinnitsky, is currently living in Kyiv and lecturing at the National University of Kyiv Mughal Academy. And so, Mr. Vinnitsky has sent us a video greeting taped earlier in Kyiv. Доброго дня, всім вітання з міста Києва. Сьогодні якраз так сталося, що є 21 листопада. Це якраз є День гідності і свободи. Сьогодні вперше розпочався так званий Євромайдан, а і я його дещо описую в своїй книжці, яка так і називається Український майдан, російська війна, хроніки і аналіз революції гідності. Uh, the word dignity is something that we come back to many, many times in this book, and it's something that's extremely important because, unfortunately, dignity in the English sense does not necessarily translate well uh, the, the Ukrainian term hidnist. Uh, Ми говоримо про революцію гідності, яка розпочалася тут, і насправді ми маємо розуміти, що так, Майдан Незалежності це було центральне таке е, символічне місце, але європейська площа, на якій я зараз стою, це те місце, де ми втратили перших членів Небесної Сотні, де спочатку вперше, насправді, е, відбулася е, зміна парадигми. This was the spot where uh, post-Soviet Ukraine lost its innocence. Up until 2013, 2014, this was the only republic of the former Soviet Union that had never experienced political violence. This is the spot where we changed all of that. In the 2014 year, the first of the Soviet Union died. Here the first wars began. Uh, які загін... закінчилися трагічно, але насправді революція, та, яка розпочалася тут, продовжується. That's the analysis that I try to get uh, to in my book, and that is what I'm very grateful to the Peterson Fund for having uh, awarded um, or recognized uh, today. In fact, uh, what began on this spot, what began here in Kyiv, had absolutely global proportions. This was something that was a, a representative of a civilizational change, uh, a movement not only of Ukrainians, but I think of, of generally post-industrial society moving towards a new concept of how we come together, what it means to be human, what it means to be dignified, uh, what it means to be part of a larger community that we call humanity. Uh, На цьому місці насправді розпочалося дуже багато. Це не лише хроніка того, що відбулося на вулицях міста Києва, а так само хроніка того, що відбулося далі в Криму, в Донбасі. One of the other reasons that I stand here, what I think that I think is extremely important to understand, this is a symbolic place. This is European Square. But at the top of European Square on the monument that you see behind me is a symbol of NATO something, an institution that is extremely important to Ukraine today and is extremely important, this partnership that we have between Canada as a member of NATO and Ukraine as a country that today is really on the forefront of defending European and global civilization. Thank you for what you are. Thank you for what you are supporting Ukraine. Thank you for what you are supporting our beginning today and my book specifically. Thank you very much. Welcome to the city of Kyiv. Slava Ukraine!